I'd like to know how some of you got to school this morning. I came by bus. I came by car. I used the underground. The reason why I asked you about this is because today we're talking about the means of transport. I love traveling. So do I. Nowadays, people can use modern means of transport for traveling. The means of transport can move weights and people from the remotest places. We can sort them out into three big groups. Air, ground, and ship transport. Air transport, such as airplanes, can cover long distances in a very short time. What about ship transport? Ships, launches, vessels, boats. They move over water. People can use one or the other depending on the distance and the purpose of the journey. Besides people, ships can transport large quantities of goods from one continent to another. Something almost impossible to be done. Use other means of transport. Miss, surely those means of transport in the third group are the ones we regularly use every day. Excellent. Those are the ground means of transport we use to get to school, to go to work, to visit our relatives and friends, and to meet and travel to all the places we need to go. I know there is a difference between coach services and bus services. Very well. Coaches travel longer distances and are more comfortable. Then we have trains, which can be regional or commuter trains, intercity and also freight trains. They transport more people than buses do. Some work using diesel, but there are also electric trains. The underground, as can be inferred from its name, runs along tunnels built under the ground surface we walk on. Underground trains are electric, and similarly to conventional trains, they run on iron tracks. They're very fast and carry a great number of passengers. I once heard there's something called a tram. What's that? The tram is a ground means of transport that runs with electricity, but not on tracks. What about cars? I was just going to talk about them. Many people use cars. There are many models, brands, colors, and sizes. What other means of transport are there? Well, motorcycles, for example. The bicycle you use now is considered the predecessor of the motorcycle. But it is not as fast, because it depends on the person's foot pressure on the pedals. Now we're going to ride our bike. I'd like to fix the carrier to mine. What for? To help my grandpa move his plants from one place to another in the garden. He's sometimes so tired of walking. Hi, kids. Hi, Grandpa. What are you doing? Now I can ride a means of transport as in my bike. I want to help you transport your plants as cargo. Ah, yes. With your help, I'll save a lot of time and my legs will be relieved. I'll go fetch my bike so I can help too and we can do it even faster. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!